right, so now let's move right into our gear segment. Today we are chock full of Glyph equipment. All right, these are hard drives and a special hard drive triplicator from our friends at the manufacturer named Glyph. Why is it important to, um, to, to look at the manufacturer here? Well, there are plenty of entrants in the hard drive market, all right? But these guys offer something very special with every single one of their, every single one of their offerings. They call it their 3-2-1 plan. What is the 3-2-1 plan? Three-year warranty on hard drives, all right? Two years of free data recovery should a hard drive crash, and one year of advanced replacement during a hard drive crash, which means, let's say your hard drive goes down, you call them up, say, hey, my hard drive's down, they ship you a new one right away, even before you get your old one back to them for that data recovery that they're gonna offer for free. This is, um, this is a company that clearly stands behind their products. That's incredible warranties from a hard drive manufacturer because what's the one thing you think about when you think about hard drives? You think about crashing. All right, so here we are. We got some Glyph professional storage. All of the drives are covered by that 3-2-1 policy, uh, as, as you can see here on, on our little graphic. All of these drives also have three modes of connection. eSATA for the fastest connection currently, FireWire 400 or 800. All right, they're FireWire 800 ports, but you can get an 800 or 400 cable if necessary. And they've all got USB 2.0. If you're not FireWire yet, get FireWire. Let's, let's get you there. So let's talk about this first one. Um, it's right here. It's mini. It's tiny. It's 500 gigs, all right? It's bus powered. You know we like model numbers here at Midtown Video. This is the Portagig 50. This is the 500 gig version. So what's cool about it? Number one, bus powered. So if you're using FireWire or USB, you do not have to plug it into a power supply, which is pretty awesome. 7200 RPM, very important for your, um, for your video transfers. You've got to match the hard drive speed of your internal hard drives at 7200. If you're 5400, you might be too slow, right? 500 gigs, 189. 750 gigs, 239. So definitely not the lowest end on the price structure, but we've got aluminum casing, it's nice and sturdy, um, and you've got that 321 policy in place, uh, so you'll, you'll always be comforted that your data is safe on a glyph, all right? Moving, uh, moving just over to the right here, we've got, oh, hang on everybody, we got, uh, we're gonna go to Debbie here with a question coming in from the internet. Jesse, Adam wants to know where he can find the entire HDNet video from Carlos Miller. Adam, thank you for watching. Thank you for your question. The question is where can we find the entire HDNet video from Carlos Miller? And the answer is at carlosmiller.com. Uh, his blog is hosted by Pixic, P-I-X-I-Q, right? And you'll just search for photography is not a crime and Carlos has his videos posted there. He said he's seen the YouTube video but he's never seen the HDNet video. So the YouTube video is the entire HDNet piece, if okay. I'm not mistaken. No, well, what you have to do is you have to download it from HDNet. It takes 99 cents on iTunes. Okay. okay. So if you're if you're to go to yeah. iTunes, uh, yeah. you'll look through HDNet's offerings, and they do offer the entire piece cents, yeah. for 99 cents. Right. Adam, thanks called? for your interest. What is it called? Well, it, it, he can always email me. I don't know offhand. It, it's okay. Check out Carlos Miller. You can email him at Carlos Miller yeah. at magiccitymedia.com, right. right? Send an email to Carlos, he will get you all the specs you need to download that HDNet piece. Thank you for joining us tonight and thank you for uh, participating in the chat room. <laughs> all right, awesome. So Verge, can I see the um, second slide from the Glyph hard drives? <laughs> Here we are with the Glyph GT050Q. What's cool about this one? Well, this is slightly larger, all right? Those little mini ones couldn't get up to the one terabytes at 7200 RPM. So the GT050Q line allows you to get up to the one terabyte and the two terabyte in the, um, uh, in the 7200 RPM class hard drives. Pretty important. Okay, we're still on a single hard drive, so there's no built-in RAID capacity, but one thing that is important about these larger drives, check this out. Um, if you can go to the camera for me. Uh, let's go to Jose. Jose, look at me right here. You got it? That is your standard D plug, all right? Just trust me on that. That is a standard D plug. What's cool about a standard D plug? You've got a built-in power supply on these hard drives. So it's not the funny, silly, you know, plug in your little DC cable and have something very large stuck in your power outlet, right? The, the power supply being built in allows for a standard D plug like you put in the back of your deck, in the back of your monitor, whatever it is. Built-in power supply means no very large, um, you know, the transformer, thank you. Great, great word, thank you very much for that. Okay, so again, one gig, let's go back to that slide for a second. One gig in the single drive 
um, hard drive system, 199 bucks, two ter uh, well, okay, one terabyte, two terabytes, 299. All right, great. But what if you are so concerned about your data that you need to go right directly to a RAID? You don't have time for a single drive enclosure. You need to, uh, you need to have either RAID 0 or RAID 1 safety in your data storage immediately, the first time you put it onto a hard drive. Well then, for you, my friends, it's the Glyph GT062E. Make sure to ask for it by name. Or you could just say, give me that Glyph RAID thing, Jesse. One terabyte, 299. Two terabytes, 359. Because it's that larger, because it's that larger casing, it benefits also from the built-in power supply. So you don't have a gigantic uh, AC transformer hogging up space in your power strip. Cool? So that's RAID 0 or RAID 1 because it's actually got two disks built into that system. And the one terabyte and the two terabytes, that's actual usable space in your, in your, glyph, mm, in your glyph array, let's call it. All right, and so what's on top of these three hard drives and why do I have three hard drives to begin with? Well, come in real close here. Jack, can you get this? Can you get the words on top here? That is the triplicator. The triplicator is not a hard drive itself, okay? Triplicator's 399, but it's not a hard drive. It doesn't provide any storage. What the triplicator provides is the capacity to go to three hard drives simultaneously. So here's how it goes. The triplicator has three eSATA output ports. All right, eSATA output ports. So as long as you've got three hard drives, you plug them into the three eSATA output port. Now to go into the triplicator, you can either use eSATA, FireWire, or USB. Okay, so, so these are the connections. From your computer, either eSATA, FireWire, or USB into the triplicator. The triplicator then, then sends three signals out and it's gotta be eSATA, okay? Now, you can mix drive sizes. You can have a 500 gig, a one terabyte, and a two terabyte if, if you know, that's what you're limited to on your personal hard drives. And they don't even have to be Glyph hard drives. They can be your own hard drives. Um, they do have to be eSATA. So you send some information, you, you plug the triplicator into your computer and it mounts like a drive, mounts like a volume on your hard drive. It says untitled, right? drag some data from your hard drive to the volume showed us that shows up when the triplicator comes in, and it goes simultaneously to all three hard drives. There's one limitation here. All right? If you are using different sized hard drives, it, it defaults to the lowest size hard drive. So I've got a 500 gig, a one terabyte, and a two terabyte. My computer sees it as a single 500 gig drive. So I've got up to 500 gigs that I can dump to the triplicator at once, and it'll simultaneously back up to all three hard drives. So uh, let's say you're shooting on an EX3, let's say you're shooting on a 7D or a 5D or a P2 camera or an NX cam camera or any of the, fi uh, the formats out right now that don't shoot to tape, which is basically all of them. Let's say you're recording on a Nano Flash or a Key Pro, anything like this, this data-oriented equipment, okay? You're not gonna be safe if you just keep it on a single hard drive or a single compact flash card. You've already got a data wrangler in the field. You're handing it off to him, he's putting it on his computer and he's dumping to one hard drive. Speed up that process. Right? Verify your data. Sleep better at night by having three simultaneous backups of your data. Uh, let's go to Danny Sell with a question coming in from the studio audience. I saw you said you could copy to it, but can you capture to it? Can you capture to it? That's a great question, Danny. I haven't tested that yet, but I'm going to say yes. Yes, you can capture to it. Um, it shows up just like a volume, just like a hard drive on your, uh, on your Macintosh or your Windows computer. So if you specify, you know, triplicator untitled, as your capture drive, then yes, yes you can. Now there's a bit of an of a initialization process where the triplicator takes these three drives and um, creates a, a new volume as large as the smallest of their drives. After that, you're ready to go. Great question. 